Am I the asshole for tricking my husband into eating the food I cooked by making him think his mom sent it? My husband, Mickey, loves his mom's cooking. He always praises her for the food she makes and even mentioned it in his groom speech at the wedding. I consider myself a good cook. In fact, I'm going to just say that I'm even better than his mom. But the problem is he doesn't even want to try my cooking or give me a chance to prove it, I thought this would change after marriage but five months later nothing's changed. What does he eat if he's not eating what I'm cooking? He has requested that his mom send him a meal every day to eat for dinner after getting off work except for the weekend where we go over to her house and eats breakfast, lunch, dinner and dessert there. Every single day he'd come home and ask if his mom sent him a meal. I grew irritated of this and whenever I try to offer him to taste any of the wasted food I cook, he'd lay in bed and say he's full. So I came up with an idea. I cooked him the same meal his mom sent him that day and put it aside till he got home. He asked if his mom sent a meal for dinner and I said yes and served him my own version of the meal, not hers. He didn't notice anything different. He ate the whole thing with no hesitation while I sat across from him asking him questions about how good the meal was. He went on and on praising it saying how perfect, exceptional it was, and how it was just what he needed after a long day at work. I smiled and said, you're welcome. He froze and looked at me for a minute. Looked down at the plate then back at me and said, wait, you made this didn't you? I said, with my own hand and from scratch. His face suddenly went red and he got upset and said that this was not cool. I told him he never even gave me a chance to show him how good my cooking is and that he's probably just used to his mom's cooking and is rejecting any other alternatives which is unfair to me. He said that I shouldn't have lied to him and basically tricked him into eating food that he had no idea where it came from. I said he liked it and admitted that it was good so what's the issue? He got up from his seat threw the napkin and said that I was unbelievable then walked out. He got quiet the rest if the evening then posted about it on his FB in a vague post about being tricked into eating, someone's food like that. I felt guilty and bad thinking maybe I really shouldn't have done this but I was frustrated with how he kept turning down every meal I tried to cook him and then say, no thanks, I prefer mom's food. Am I the asshole? Info. Why would you marry someone who refuses to eat your food and makes his mother make him dinner every day? Also does his mom really want to make his food for the rest of his life or has he made up a story to get her to do it? And also what will he eat when mommy dies and he's still or a grown ass adult? Why the fuck did you even marry him? File for divorce and ship him back to his mommy. Not the asshole. Info. How did you end up marrying him? This is the real question here. How was he able to stand at the altar with that umbilical cord still attached? Not the asshole. First of all stop going to his mother's every weekend to eat. He can if he wants to but you don't need to. Come on girl, have some respect for yourself. Let his mother freaking cook for him and be free of that chore. What you don't see is that he is manipulating you. He is letting you know every single day that you are not good enough for him. He prefers his mother over you. He is doing this to destroy your self-esteem and he does it on purpose. Who mentions their mother's cooking in their groom speech? Also, whose mother is making their grown children dinner and sending it over every single night? This whole situation is so weird. Not the asshole but a woman in desperate need of a divorce. This man does not love you. He loves his mother. Is this the life you want? The only time I've ever seen anyone do what your husband do in only eating food from one place, or person, is when they've had a food trauma. Usually I give a hard pass to food deception but you were driven to extremes. Not the asshole you know, in a lot of relationships, wives would love not having to cook for their husbands, but you, ma'am, are living in a creative new version of domestic hell. Anyway, polite but appreciative clap. Yeah I think the general rule about food deception doesn't apply when the sole piece of deception is that his wife cooked instead of his mum. The food was the same, exactly what he expected and enjoyed, it just came from a different person who he should trust as much as who he thought it came from. Info. How did you manage to marry a toddler? I was about to say this original poster's husband better pray he dies before his mum naturally, or starve after she's gone. Not enough information. Were you aware that child marriage is illegal in most countries? Not enough information. Seriously, why did you marry him? This had to have been a known issue. She said she thought it would change after marriage. News flash to anyone thinking this way, it never gets better after marriage. Whatever drove you nuts before will drive you nuts after. Might I make some suggestions? 1. Stop receiving the meals Mill sends. However they get sent to your house, you don't receive them, and have no involvement in how they get stored. 
they can be left at the door for all you care. 2. When he asks you did his meal get sent, you respond with you have no idea, optionally you can add that you also don't care. Let him hunt it up and choose whether or not he want to consume it, or have to go out of his way to collect it from the ILs because there's no guarantee it will get stored safely enough to be safe to eat by the time he gets to it. 3. Start cooking for yourself. Go as fancy as you can as many times as you can and eat them in front of him while he consumes his plate of sad. 4. Point the third of may not be doable but this one is. Stop going to the ILs on the weekends. Stay at home. Cook up a storm for yourself and some chosen friends, with or without their assistance, at your discretion, and post pictures of both your time and your spread on SM. 5. Do not let up on this until he grovels. Not apologizes, grovels. Edit. Not the asshole. Number 4 especially. Plenty of people are saying, divorce him, but I get the feeling that if original poster follows these rules, she won't have to, he will. If he does, emo it wouldn't be much of a loss. Plus then the onus of instigating a divorce wouldn't fall on original poster. The simple fact is, every problem doesn't need to end in divorce. But that doesn't mean continuing to tolerate disrespect either. I feel a better approach is to find an equitable tit for tat. Then whatever happens, happens. Everyone sucks here. Your husband, for obvious reasons. You, for marrying him knowing this was an issue and thinking he would change. And his mother, for continuing to enable this behavior not the asshole, and could you still annul the marriage? No offense but you are married to him and his mom. I don't know, sounds more like she's the mistress here. Mommy and son have their lives and the mistress gets the few scraps of time and appreciation left over. Good point, and I agree, doesn't sound like a marriage. So he just expects his mom to feed him for the rest of his life? He's weird, they're a weird family. Do you think his mommy had to pack some food for him for the honeymoon? honeymoon was probably at his mum's house. Not the asshole at first I thought this was going to be like tricking a vegan with cheese or an allergenic with nuts. Your husband refuses to try your cooking, and feels tricked when you substitute yours for mum's. Same food, same ingredients. Frankly I see no future in this relationship. He is married to his mother and just having sex with you. Girl your husband is not normal. There is no way that's a sane person's behavior. Why the hell did you marry this guy? Not the asshole. If your husband is so attached to his mother that he would spite you for tricking him into eating your cooking instead of hers, then dump him and tell him to go back to his mom. No woman deserves to be treated this way. Nobody deserves to be treated like this. Not enough information I'm confused. What does he mean by eating food that he had no idea where it came from? Like I assumed you cooked in your kitchen, with ingredients you bought from the store? Why is he so against eating your cooking? Does he have very specific food requests or particular aversions to food? Is he autistic? Has OCD? Allergies? Something like that? Honestly to me it sounds like you're wasting your time, just cook for yourself and let him rely on his mother for the rest of her life. Tell him you're never going to cook for him again and stick to that agreement, if it bothers you then this guy isn't for you and I don't know why you married him if you knew about this before the wedding even. Yeah if he's neurodivergent, it makes this behavior around food understandable. If original poster knows this it's really not okay that she did this but I'd assume she'd mention it if she knew though.